Okay, hey, welcome back. This is Chris Dennis, and this is going to be number three in a set of tutorials. Um, and what we're going to talk about in this tutorial is using grips to erase your lines. Okay, so um, what I've done here is I've actually used the line command to draw out the letters in my name and um, that was a good practice from the last tutorial and now I'm going to practice erasing some of these lines. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, first of all I want you to notice that I do not have a command down here on the command line. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is just go up to any line segment and pick on it. And when I don't have a command on the command line and I just start picking lines um, they come up with these blue boxes which are called grips. Um, so these four line segments are now selected. Okay. So now with these four line segments selected I can actually go up to the eraser on the ribbon here and pick erase and um, it will erase the gripped lines. Okay. So let's undo that. All right. Um, sometimes you may accidentally um, notice that you get grips um, when you didn't mean to. You either accidentally picked on a line or um, picked on something and you said, oh, I didn't mean to do that. What are these blue boxes? I'd like to get rid of them. Um, and that's an easy fix. If you do it by mistake, what you want to do is just hit the escape key on your keyboard sometimes you have to hit it twice and it clears the grips and brings you back to the beginning again. Alright, so um, we've actually erased these four lines using grips and what I'm going to actually show you now is how to make a selection window so that you don't have to pick each line individually. Okay, so again I have no command on the command line and I'm just going to come up in outer space here and anytime you do that in outer space without a command and you do a quick pick you're going to notice that um, your cursor starts to make a window alright so AutoCAD assumes that you want a selection window so if as long as I encompass all of the line work inside the window when I do my second pick um, it will select everything that's inside of that window. So it selected these four lines and now I can come up to erase and erase them. Alright, so I'm going to undo that again and I'd like to show you another um, selection window. Okay, um, the other selection window that gives you grips is called a crossing window and what that is is again um, as long as your cursor is not on an entity as long as your cursor is in space with no command on the command line I'm gonna arbitrarily just pick and notice the color of this window is green and the lines around the window are dashed as compared to my other window which was blue like this okay and that just has to do with the direction it's the fact that I'm starting in the upper right and I'm going left that it makes what's called a crossing window. Now what a crossing window does is it selects all the entities that are inside and that cross the window. Okay, so let's do a pick, see what happens. Alright, so you'll notice that it gripped these lines that were inside the window and the ones that crossed it. Now these three lines here did not grip because they were not inside the window and they did not cross it. This is pretty much what that window looked like. And you can see that those lines did not cross the window and were not inside the window. So those did not select. Okay. Um, at this point you could do an erase or if you want to add more gripped lines you can do that. Okay, now I have everything gripped and I can pick erase and everything's gone. Let's undo that again. Okay, 
And I'm going to do that one more time with the grips. I'm going to do a crossing window. Everything is gripped. And I'm going to pick my additional lines to show that you can add more lines to your selection set. Now, what if I all of a sudden decided that I wanted to keep the D? Uh, I don't want to erase the D. Well, I could escape and start over, or I could hold the Shift key down on the keyboard. And while I've got this Shift key held down, I can pick the lines that I want to unselect and then go up to erase. Okay? So for review with grips, uh, picking on any line will grip it. Making a window as long as all of the lines are inside the window will select all the entities inside or making a crossing window will select entities that are inside or that cross. Okay? Holding the shift key down will unselect previously selected items. Okay? Now that these are gripped, we can pick erase and everything's gone. I hope that helps clear up the erase command with grips.